Namaste, warm welcome. My name is Hazem and I'll be guiding you through today's Hatha Flow practice. Today's practice is all about opening up the chest, giving us a sense of ease in this area, in our bodies, helping us to feel connected to ourselves and to the heart center, the area of Anahata Chakra. So let's begin with our eyes gently closed in a comfortable, steady seated position. You can place your right hand on top of your left or choose any mudra. And become aware of the area of the sitting bones. Notice if there's any tension in this area and just release. Feeling the sitting bones rooting into the earth. And move your awareness up to the area of the abdomen and release, relax any tension in this area. Start to become aware of the breath expanding and contracting the area of the abdomen. Just let the abdomen expand as much as it likes. And exhale. And then move your awareness to the area of the chest. Relax the area of the lungs. And as the body breathes in naturally, just allow the chest, the lungs to expand. On the exhale, just sink into your body, into the warmth of the body, the sensations, the energy of the body. Try to remain present throughout the entire length of the breath. Keeping your awareness here in the heart center. Just note, become aware of how you feel in this area without any judgment of good or bad, comfortable, uncomfortable. Just enter a state of pure awareness, objective awareness in the area of the chest, the space of the chest. Relax your shoulders, soften this area from the neck and the shoulders. And maintain your awareness on the breath coming in out of the center of the chest.
on the next inhale open your arms wide take them behind you place them behind the lower back fingers pointing away from you and lift the pelvic floor up lift the hips take the shoulders back take a deep inhale lift the chin slightly up but don't compress the back of the neck and exhale dropping the bottom down interlace your fingers take the hands back keep the chest nice and open and exhale taking the head down inhaling coming up place the hands down lift the hips exhale interlace the fingers pull the hands back lift the lower abdomen in and up and coming down inhale one more time on this taking the hands behind lifting the hips up breathing in deep squeeze the shoulders back exhale coming down taking the head down inhale coming up and switch the position of your legs so left leg or whichever was on top just switch it inhale open the arms place the hands behind lift the hips up open the chest try and separate open the shoulders bring the sternum forward exhale interlace coming down inhale coming up exhale interlace the fingers coming down inhale up and exhale release you can uncross our legs place the hands onto the ground coming onto all fours inhaling keep your feet separate hip width apart with the knees shoulders over wrists externally rotate the upper arms so that your inner elbows face the front inhale we'll do some cat and cow keep the chest nice and open and lift it lifting with the chest first we don't want to compress the back of the neck so keep the neck long exhaling rounding the spine and just start to flow warming up the body warming up the spine rounding the thoracic and the lumbar spine keep the rounding until your shoulders go over the wrists and then inhale slowly coming up do three more And then tucking the toes under, press into downward facing dog, pushing the ground, spread your fingers wide, and then walking, bending one knee at a time, just warming up the back of the legs. Keep your shoulders back into the rolling into the back of the body, bending one knee at a time. Breathing, try and relax the chest chest is just parallel to the ground almost relax the area of the lungs the eyes the jaw the mouth and then inhale coming into plank 
rotating the upper arms externally strong core shoulders over wrists strong legs strong feet bring your knees chest and chin down relax the lungs shoulders back and then press your hips down press your thighs keep pushing down on the legs inhale scoop the chest up elbows in Bhujangasana Cobra place the stomach down the ribs and the chest the chin what <coughs> press firmly down on the thighs and try and lift up without using your hands keep pressing down on the thighs and the hips shoulders back spreading your fingers exhale taking the chest down release once again inhale pressing into the hips lifting the arms up this time take the hands lightly on the ground elbows in shoulders back press firmly down on the hips just come up gently try not to use so much pressure in the hands you can also take your hands off for a moment press more with the thighs lightly touching the ground with the hands and keep pressing the thighs the hips shoulders back lift the sternum keep the chest nice and open try and reveal your armpits a little bit taking the shoulders back and exhale lengthen the spine going into child's pose stretching your arms inhale breathing in scoop up into cobra shoulders back exhale child's pose just flow for a moment inhaling up into cobra exhaling think about keeping the chest nice and open breathing into your back keeping the neck nice and long pressing the thighs lengthen the spine one more deep breath in into cobra exhale tuck the toes downward facing dog then press the hands spread the fingers wide roll the shoulders into the back of the body relax your neck taking deep breaths you can nod the head gently like yes just to release the neck and the eyes and shake the head gently like no releasing the jaw and then release any neck movement press the ground making one line of energy from the hands to the armpits to the hips so push the ground and try and lengthen your spine so lift your tailbone up the pubic bone up back and up and push the back of the legs towards the back of the room taking three deep breaths And then looking up walk your feet towards your hands join the toes together heels slightly apart inhale halfway up keep breathing in shoulders back keep your awareness keeping the chest nice and open and pressing in the front of the feet the big toe mound hinging from the hips coming down bend the knees and place the stomach on the thighs the chest on the knees and the head towards the shins place one hand on each elbow and relax the neck put your weight on the front of the feet and take the shoulders gently back release 
Go and place your awareness on the center of the chest. And press evenly on all three parts of the feet, the big toe mound, the outer edge where the pink pinky finger is and the center of the heels, like a tripod in each foot. Release the hands, press down on the feet and take a deep inhale. Keep breathing in, keep your head down as you come up. Join the thumb, the hands together, look up at the thumbs when your neck and your head feel stable. Keep pressing down on the feet, inhaling. Press forward on the hips to lean back and exhale. Coming back to center. Just taking a moment here, reconnect with your body, become aware of the warmth in the hands, the fire element building, and just let it flow to through the wrists and the arms, the armpits, to the center of the chest. Drawing your tailbone in, removing any lordosis or arch in the back, in the lower back. Keep pressing firmly on the feet, shoulders nice and relaxed, and the back body, crown of the head going up. You can lift the kneecap slightly up just to engage the quads, but don't lock the knees. Release your toes, keep pressing down on the feet, and we'll begin with Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation, taking the hands down, spread the fingers, widen the collarbones, and keep pressing down on the feet as you raise your arms up, breathing in, join the hands together, look up at the thumbs. Keep pushing down on the feet and then open, release the hands, take them behind, opening the chest, coming down with a nice open chest, lift the abdomen in and up, coming down, down, down. So we're coming from the hips. I'm not using my back to fold down, I'm just keeping my back relaxed. Just using hinging from the hips, taking the tailbone up. And when the back wants to engage, I'll bend my knees, place my stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, head to shin. Relax your neck, your eyes and the top of the head. Inhale halfway up, bending the knees, hands on the ground. We can walk to the back of the mat or if you want to jump into plank, Bend the knees, press firmly down on the hands, lift the abdomen in and up, and coming back into plank position, rotating the upper arms externally. Strong core, shoulders over wrists, bring your chest forward, roll the shoulders back, and then bring your knees, chest leads the way down. Touches the ground, shoulders back, press the hips, inhaling Bhujangasana Cobra, pressing your thighs down, opening the chest, try and lift your chest up, keep your elbows bent into the ribs as part of the cobra head, the shoulders go back, and exhale, tuck the toes under, bend the knees and downward dog, staying for three breaths. Looking up, bend the knees 
and walk, or if you want to float to the front, pushing firmly on the hands, spreading the fingers, engage your core, lift the pelvic floor up, keep the pressure on the hands, and just float to the front, or walk. Feet together, heels slightly up higher. Inhale, halfway up, shoulders back, long spine, exhale, folding down from the hips or bend your knees, shoulders back, relax your head, press down on the feet and take a deep inhale, keep breathing in, lifting up, join the hands, look at the thumbs, press the hips forward, press down on the feet, lean back slightly, and exhale, release into samastiti. We'll do another round very much quicker. Stay focused on the chest, opening the chest, keeping the shoulders rolling into the back body, taking a deep inhale, breathing in, looking up, press the hips, exhale. Folding down, inhale, halfway up, shoulders back, keep the shoulders back, chest open, bend the knees, hands down, and walk, or go back into plank, rotate externally your upper arms, strong core, knees, chest, and chin, scoop up. Lift the chest, press firmly on the thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying for three breaths, push the ground. Lengthen your spine. So try to feel that the lower spine is lengthening. Push the ground, roll the shoulders back. Relax your neck, look at the toes. Use your ujjayi breath. Making the sound of the sea in the back of the throat. Looking up, bend the knees, walk or float using your core, lifting the pelvic floor, coming to the front. Inhale, halfway up. Shoulders back and keeping the chest open, fold down. Inhale up. All the way up, breathing in. Try and connect to each cell in the body. Breathe, expand the entire body and press the hips forward. Looking up, leaning back and exhale, release. Hands in the center, relax your shoulders. And we'll go to the next sun salutation. Inhaling, taking the hands wide, pressing down on the feet, up, press the hips. Exhale, swan dive down. Beautiful open chest. Lift the abdomen in and up. Hinge from the hips. Coming down. Weight on the front of the feet. Inhale, halfway. Bend the knees. This time we take the right foot back. Gently placing the top of the knee on the ground. Try and get a bit of thigh as well as knee. Press firmly down on your right foot, align your left knee with your left ankle. Start to lift the chest, and then we can come all the way up, opening. Press into your right hip flexor, and sink a little bit into your left hip. And press both feet firmly down on the ground. If you push your right foot down, it helps to protect your knee. Press the hips, lean back a little, open the chest, open the arms, lift the chest up. Take the hands a little bit behind, 
and exhale release hands either side of your left foot tuck your right toe under inhale plank strong core shoulders forward over the wrists exhale knees chest and chin relax your lungs and your heart center shoulders back scoop up bhujangasana exhale Adhimukhasvanasana, downward dog, feet hip width apart, pushing the ground, three breaths, press the heels down, if you can see the heels, make them disappear by adjusting the feet slightly, And connect to each cell in the body as you breathe. And then we lift the right leg up. Keep it internally rotated so that it's parallel to the ground. Exhale. Right foot between the hands. Drop your left knee gently. Inhale. Lifting the arms up. Press into the left hip flexor. At the front of the left hip. Lean back. Open the chest. Lift the heart to the sky, spread the fingers, and exhale, release. Hands either side of the right foot, take both feet to the front. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rise up. Open chest, look up at the thumbs. Hips forward, lean back. And exhale, release. On the other side, taking the hands down, inhale up, looking up at the hip, at the thumbs, pressing the hips forward, lean back, exhale, coming down. Inhale, halfway. Bend the knees, left foot back this time, dropping the knee. Inhale, rise up. Hips forward, lean back slightly, open the chest. Take the arms wide. Exhale, hands either side of the right foot. Tuck the left toe, inhale, plank. Exhale, down, inhale. Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale. Downward dog and three breaths. Try and bring your stomach closer to your thighs, hinging from the hips. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Press into the thumb and the index finger knuckle area. And then lifting the left leg up on the inhale. Exhale, left foot between the hands, dropping your right knee. Inhale, rise up. Leaning back from the hips, open your arms, lift the chest up, spread the fingers. Exhale, hands down either side of the left foot. Bring the feet together. Inhale, halfway up. Shoulders back, nice open chest. Exhale, keep the collarbones nice and open as you fold down. Pressing on the feet, rise up, inhale. Look up, hips forward. And exhale, release, hands in the center. Keep the collarbones nice and open. Pressing down on the feet. Let's bend the knees and walk or just jump a little bit wider than your mat. Open the arms wide. Taking in a deep breath, exhale, place the hands on the hips, preparing for Prasrita Padottanasana. 
Just forward fold, wide legs. As you exhale, keep the chest open, the collarbones open. Take the tailbone up slightly, hinging from the hips. Press your weight on the front of the feet, coming halfway down, shoulders back. Inhale, coming up. Press the hips forward, lift the pelvic floor. You can lean back slightly. And exhale, release. Take the hands back into center. Inhale, open up. Deep breath in, taking the arms behind a little bit. Exhale. Strong core. Take the hands together, keep exhaling. Inhale. Opening the arms, this time take them all the way behind, interlace the fingers. Start to shift your weight to the front of the feet. Taking the tailbone up as we did before, hinging from the hips. More weight on the front. Keeping the collarbones nice and open, open chest. Think about opening the chest. Just let the center of the chest, the sternum, hang for a moment as we're halfway up. Don't fold all the way down just yet. Try and release the lungs. Inhale, scoop the chest up, arching the back. And then just from the hips, start to hinge down slowly. Shifting more weight on the front of the feet. And come all the way down, taking the shoulders back. Try and press your sitting bones a little bit down towards the ground as well, helping to protect the hamstrings. Relax your eyes, your jaw. Awareness on the sternum area. And we'll take about eight deep breaths into the sternum. Strong legs, press the feet. Think about expanding the chest with the breath. Keep lifting the hands back behind the head. Straightening the arms if possible. Lifting the lower abdomen in and up. Squeezing the shoulders gently back. One more deep inhale. Exhale. And press on the front of the feet. You can bend the knees if you need. Slowly rise up. Keep the head down. Inhaling. And then release the arms. Release the hands into the center. Relax the shoulders. Bend the knees. And walk or jump back to the front of the mat, the center of the mat. And just allow your breath to return to normal. Inhale, spread the arms. Take a deep breath in. Looking up, join the hands together, look at the thumbs, press the hips, and exhale. Let's fold down, open chest, lift the abdomen in and up, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway up, bending the knees, hands on the ground, and walk or float back into plank, strong core. Drop the knees, chest and chin. Inhale, scoop up the cobra. And exhale, place the stomach down, the ribs and the chest. Widening the arms into a T-shape. We'll do some Shalabhasana. Variations, some locust, 
Inhaling, lift the head, the chest, the arms back, lift the legs up, keep them internally rotated, keep the back of the neck long. Taking a deep breath, breathe into your back, take the shoulders back, and exhale, release, coming down, and we'll do four more times, breathe into your back. Help to open the chest, breathe into the space behind the chest. Try and get your armpits to open up, shoulders back. Coming down, when you need to exhale. Three more times, breathe in, breathe deeper than you think you can. Breathe into the back, attitudes of confidence fearlessness because we hold so much fear and tension in the back exhale inhale keep breathing in find new space expand beyond the tension use the breath exhale and one more deep inhale Lifting the arms, spreading the fingers. Keep breathing in. Exhale. Release. Widen the arms into a T-shape. Bending the knees. Inhale, grab hold of the feet with the hands. And then lift the chest. As you breathe in, lift the knees off the ground and pull the feet back. Keep breathing in. Into Dhanurasana. Gently exhale. Just progressively pull the feet back. Lifting the hips off the ground almost. Lifting the thighs off the ground. Keeping the knees in line with the hips. Taking two more deep breaths. Keep pulling back the feet. You can just feel the chest opening. Feel how good this is for your posture. On the next inhale, soften your arms. Roll to the right side, lifting your left hip up. And your left shoulder rolling to the right. And again, pull your feet away gently. Try and bring the solar plexus and the cardiac plexus, the center area just above the abdomen and just in the center of the chest. Push these two points forward. Bring the thoracic spine towards the chest. Breathing in. Maybe two more breaths. Just opening up the front of the body. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Gently roll to the front. And then lifting your right shoulder. You can also use your hand to assist if you need. Pulling the feet away, five deep breaths in this side bow. Make the front of the body like you would a bow, like it was a bow. Opening the throat. Breathe deeper than you think you can. One more deep breath in. Exhale, coming back to center. This time take the hands on the inside of the feet. And we'll stay five breaths. Lift your head up. Lift your chest. Pull the feet back. Lift the knees up. This is the last one. So five deep breaths. Confidence.
keep pulling the feet back. One more deep breath. Exhale, release. Widen the arms, dropping the chin slowly down. Just release the lungs a moment. Mm, release all the pressure in the body. And then lifting, inhaling, lift your left leg up. And roll, rotate towards your right side. Opening the left hip, bend your knee. Place your foot, your left foot down. Leaning into the right side of the body. Relax your head. You can also use a cushion, a pillow under your head if you need. And we'll stay here breathing for about eight breaths. And let go of any effort and just let the weight of the body open up the right side of the chest. Try and connect to the entire body, feeling the body as you breathe, the sensations, the warmth, the aliveness of the body. Make breathing a really blissful experience, a really connecting experience. And then exhale, roll back to the front, widening your left arm, line with your left shoulder. Start to lift your right leg, open it up. Doing the same on the other side. You can keep your right hand posted there. Or take it onto your hip or behind the lower back. Eight deep breaths. Exhale, release, come back to center. Taking the hands either side of the shoulders, under the shoulders. Open the chest, shoulders back, tuck the toes and push into downward facing dog. Press the heels down, roll the shoulders into the back of the body and lengthen your spine, relax your neck. Just taking five deep breaths, pushing the ground. And then drop your knees to the ground. Bending the knees, place the bottom on the ground, on the heels. And scoop up, breathing in to Cobra. 
Press the hips, open the chest nice and wide. Just noticing the difference, how the chest feels. After more opening, and then coming into all fours. Walking the hands forward. We'll come into the heart melting pose or the puppy stretch. Dropping your chin down, try and place your sternum on the ground. Hands in front. And staying here for about 10 breaths. Really try and relax your chest and let the heart melt towards the ground. Push the ground with the hands. to the heels, preparing for the camel pose, just resting for a moment, relaxing your shoulders, pressing down on the feet, lifting up, press the hips forward so they're in line with the knees, feel the engagement in the quads. Press your feet down, take the hands to the sides, the hips, press the hips forward, shoulders back, open the chest, taking a deep breath, you can lift the chin slightly up, but it's more about the chest lifting, don't compress the back of the neck, exhale. Coming down, taking the top of the head to the ground. Inhale, back up. You can stay in that variation of camel or for the full version, pressing the hips. Try and lengthen from the front of the body, leaning back like a bow. Take your right hand onto your right heel. Grab your left heel with your left hand and press forward with the hips. Lift the chest up. It's more about the chest. Lifting the shoulders going back and then the head can be in line with the shoulders, keeping the back of the neck long. You can open the throat and pressing forward with the hips, staying for five deep breaths. Try and pull away from your arms, but they're anchored to the ground, tied to the ground like ropes, tied to your feet. Just keep lifting the chest up. Use the breath. Remain present. And on the next exhale, taking the hands one at a time onto the hips. Coming back to neutral spine. Take the hands onto the ground. Let's tuck the toes under for downward facing dog. Lengthen your spine. Press the ground gently. Try and make it a more easier downward dog this time. Just lengthening the spine, allowing the head to reach towards the crown, lengthening the neck. Relax the eyes. Let 
looking up, bending the knees, engage the core, walk or jump to the front, bend the knees, sit the bottom down onto the ground, take the hands behind you, let's point the fingers away from us this time, place the feet forward, knees hip width apart, inhale lift the hips, take the shoulders back, lift the sternum up, and we'll take eight deep breaths, keep pressing the hands down, keep lifting the chest up, lift the abdomen in, to invigorate the body, one more lift up, and exhale, releasing the bottom down, stretch the arms in front, stretch the legs into Navasana, boat posture, strong core, three, two, holding one, bend the knees, Take the hands behind you, fingers pointing towards the bottom, straightening the legs, heels to the ground, shoulders back for the full Purvottanasana. Try and round the spine a little bit, bring the sacrum towards the ground. Lift the feet up and point the feet, lift the heels up, point the feet and drop the, the heels. Press into the heels, lifting up and gently bringing the toes towards the ground as you lift the chest up, lift the thoracic into the chest, taking a deep breath, and exhale, release, take the bottom down, straightening the legs up, strong core, hip flexors active, holding for five, four, take a deep breath in, three, exhale, Hold the breath, two, and one. Inhale, slowly come back with control. Use your core and stretch the arms above the head. Taking in a deep breath in and then widen the arms. Palms face the sky, spread the legs gently as wide as you like and taking rest in Shavasana, final relaxation. Just allow the body to sink into the earth. Relax your shoulders, soften the chest, the armpits, the ribs, and take your awareness to the center of the chest. Staying with the warm sensations in this area. And just keep sinking deeper and deeper into the earth from the center of the chest. Relaxing the entire body in Shavasana. Final relaxation.
and coming back start to open and close the hands and rotate the feet waking up the physical body gently you can stretch the arms above the head taking in a deep inhale exhale hugging the knees rolling gently left and right and rolling to the right side of the body relaxing the face, the chest the lungs and the heart and pressing up into a comfortable steady seated position to close out the practice joining the hands together in the center of the chest taking your awareness into this space And we'll say three arms to close. Take a deep breath, expand your center. Om. And again. again Om. Namaste